Ubuntu Venture Fund was really, it was founded by four founders ourselves. All of us founded companies, raised venture capital ourselves, expanded the companies, and then exited. A couple of us did it more than once. And all of us did it, um, at least for the first time in Pittsburgh, you know, our first companies in cool. Pittsburgh. And we all ran into the same um, sort of issue that bothered us a little bit. And that was that we ended up raising capital from outside the area in most cases. And then when we were successful, you know, the capital goes back outside the area. And when we looked at these communities like the Bay Area, New York, and to a certain extent, Austin, maybe Boston to a certain extent. Yeah. Um, what you had was founders who'd been successful and exited um, found funding the next round of founders. And so it, you were building wealth within the community and that wealth was being fed back to fund the next round of startups. And we looked at that and we thought, boy, we'd really like to do that in Pittsburgh. Nice. And yeah, and so when we went to go out and fundraise for our, for our venture fund, we called up all the people who were founders when we first founded <laughs> our companies. You That's know, awesome. the people that we used to cry to when we had problems that we celebrated with. And uh, you and I were just mentioning some of those names, folks like Raul Valdez Paris, the founder of Vivissimo, Norm Sade, the founder of Wombat, um, Luis Vanan, you know, uh, over at Duolingo with Severn Hacker. Cool. And a lot of folks like that, the founders, uh, uh, Sunil and Akash from um, iGate, you know, if you go back a little further. And those folks um, all invested in our fund. And so now we've got this fund that's probably 80% of the funds came from experienced founders. That's awesome. Like ourselves, yeah. yeah. And, and many of them are willing to put in more than just money. And so what happens? Well, uh, when we invest in a company, um, I'll give you an example. We invested in a cybersecurity company called Valley Cyber, also a company that uh, was a CMU founder who we knew from his previous two companies, Anthony cool. Gadient. So it's a cybersecurity company, and um, we put money in, and we've got you know um, a board observer seat in this case. And so we go to Norman Sade, who led Wombat, cybersecurity company, had a successful exit. Hey, hey, Norman, how would you like to take our board observer seat and be an advisor to this company? Nice. He says, yeah, I'd love to do that. So we go to the CEO. Hey, how would you like to have this person be your uh, board observer? Anthony's great. You know, somebody who recently exited a similar company, has connections, knows where all the potholes are and how to help me avoid them. So we're able to sort of leverage this uh, relevant recent experience of founders for our next group of founders that we're investing in. That's awesome. And so that's kind of our, I'd say, our secret sauce. 